If you're watching this video, you might be aware that Notion is one of the hottest, newest note-taking apps out there for students and professionals alike. In this video, I explain how I am using Notion and Notability to take notes as a PhD candidate in 2020. This video is the second in an ongoing series on how I use Notion. The first was a video about why I purposefully use a paper planner in combination with Notion to get everything done in my life. So check out that video after watching this video to find out more why paper planners and Notion make a killer combination. So in keeping in line with that last video, this one is about harnessing Notion's powerful customizable databases alongside handwritten notes and notability. And if we're meeting for the first time, hi, my name is Jackie. As mentioned, I'm a PhD candidate. I study higher education at the University of Toronto. This channel is all about productivity, academic tips, personal development, things I research, things I love. If those topics interest you, I would welcome you to join our community by clicking the subscribe and notifications bell buttons. Thank you to all 310 plus of my OG subscribers at the moment. By subscribing and clicking the notifications bell button, not only do you receive updates on new videos as they come, but it also helps me very much with getting these videos out there so that others might come upon them and consider joining our community. So using the example of taking notes in a class or a workshop, I'm going to show you how I use Notion to connect notes to the items in my calendar they correspond to. I will show you a Notion template that I use to take notes in seminars and workshops, which can easily be adapted to any type of class. I will also show you how you can instantaneously capture content from online classes and place it in your notes in Notion. And one of my favorite tips that not everyone has figured out yet is I'm going to show you how to import my handwritten notes from Notability into my notes in Notion. So if that sounds interesting to you, keep on watching. So welcome to my Notion dashboard. Notion is very much a customizable all-in-one organizer. You can see here that I have links to databases where I record thoughts and journal notes, take general notes, plan out things that I want to learn and keep track of things that I think are really cool or that I want to check out as well as ideas that I would like to pursue. Project Central is where I store information about my meetings and to-do lists, both for my personal and professional life. You can see right now that I have searched for the term thesis group, which is a seminar that I attend on a bi-weekly basis. And I'm gonna use a seminar example to show you how I take notes in Notion. So the first thing that I would do is I would go to the class or seminar meeting in my calendar and I would open it. And the first thing you're gonna see is a template that I have. So this tells me which professors I'm meeting with. What I can do is I can record who's presenting, whether it's myself, another student, a professor, and what they're going to be talking about. And let's say it's me. So I'm the presenter and I'm gonna be presenting about engaging students in institutional decision-making. I'm going to be presenting a practitioner conference presentation to the students before I go and present it for real. And the prep that's required of me is that I have to prepare a slide deck and I wanna have it done one day before the presentation. I should also probably make a note to practice the presentation. Let's say that that's happening and it is in progress. And down here, I can record the information for the Zoom meeting so that it's at the ready when the time comes in my calendar to attend the seminar. Now we're at the seminar. So I open up my calendar and I click this over here. It's gonna take me to the note template that I have for my seminar meetings. I'll show you a little bit later how I can reuse this template every single time I have a seminar. But here's the template I've created. As you can see, I've linked the notes to my calendar. So all I have to do is click here and it'll take me right back to my calendar preparation notes. So let's say I'm someone else and I'm watching me make my presentation in an online seminar. I'd write the name of the presenter, which happens to be me. 
I would write down the name of the presentation. Here are some notes I took during the presentation. And I even took some screenshots of what was going on in class and put them right in my notes. So you can see these are some instructions for an activity. I copied those over. In theory, I would make some points from my small group discussion to report back to the larger group. Let me show you how easy it is to copy a slide from your online class into your Notion notes. Definitely make sure that whoever is leading the class is okay with this type of thing. Like, so for example, if it's for your own private notes and you're not going to be sharing it with anyone else, then it's likely okay. But do keep in mind that Notion uses a cloud server, so you shouldn't be copying and pasting anything in that someone might take issue with from a privacy standpoint. So this isn't exactly what it looks like in a Zoom class, but let's say this slide is on the screen in class and you're like, wow, these are some great resources, but we're moving really quickly. Let me quickly copy and paste that slide into my Notion. All you have to do is take a screenshot of the slide. It will appear over here and you just drag it to where you want. It just takes a couple moments to render and it's there. As I'm listening to a presentation, I will be recording questions that I have for the presenters down here, as well as feedback that I have. One of the cool things about Notion is that it uses blocks and it reduces the amount of copying and pasting you have to do when you wanna move things around. So when it gets to the question period, I sort of like to figure out for myself which question is the most important to ask at this point in time. And what I'll do is I will drag it to the top. And knowing that other students will ask questions, I might even create a rank order for the ones I came up with by dragging them around. I also have a section called Notes to Self where I can make a note of things I should do or check out as a result of having participated in the seminar or presentation. I also like to take a moment to think about how what I've just learned connects to what I've already learned. I find that, that also helps me to retain the knowledge a lot better. And last but not least, I like to make some notes about what I'm pondering as a result of having attended the seminar. These are some examples of some very basic points I might be thinking about after attending a presentation on engaging the students in institutional decision making, but there's a lot more that I'm thinking about given that this is my area of research. Now, sometimes in seminars, there's more than one presentation back to back, so check this out. If there's someone else who's going to make a presentation, all I have to do is click this button and boom, those same fields are ready to go for the next presentation. How cool is that? To do this, all you have to do is create a template. So you go here, you go down towards the bottom, there's going to be an option to create a template. Here we are. And you can say what it's called. So in this case, it would be called presentation notes. And then all it wants you to do is drop the blocks that you want to see duplicated. So what I could do is I could go up here and I could say, you know, this is all the stuff that I want to see duplicated. And I can come down here and paste it. And that's it. And so all I have to do is press the button again and it will be there. And you may be wondering where my notes live. They all live in my master note database, which you can see here. Although the only notes that I've pulled up are the thesis group notes. To do that, I just search for thesis group over here and lo and behold, they've all been brought up. You can search for anything and as long as it appears in your notes, it will come up. Now there's one issue with this. While it looks nice and clean and consistent, you can't take handwritten notes in Notion. And I find taking handwritten notes really helps me if I need additional support focusing, if I'm wanting to be creative, or if I'm really trying to remember something. So that is where my iPad, Apple Pencil, and Notability come in. And I want to show you how easy it is to import handwritten notes from Notability into Notion. So let's say that this is a note that I took on my iPad during our seminar and it was just some creative things that we were brainstorming around. What do we want to do for our group this year? Do we want to have some online socials? Do we want to create an inventory of online conference opportunities? Should we attend together? This type of stuff. And I want to copy these handwritten notes into my Notion organizer. All I have to do 
is go to export, PDF, export it, save it somewhere, and in Notion, go to the PDF embed or upload option, which you can find either here or here. So let's say I actually want to be able to see the notes in these notes, not just a link to it. I would click embed. I would then click upload. And here they are. You can make them bigger or smaller. Alternatively, you can just put a link to your handwritten notes if you prefer that. So to do that, all you have to do is go down to file, embed your link, choose your file, same file. And now you just click this, and it'll take you to your notes. So that in a nutshell is how I take notes on Notion. You can use a very similar approach when taking notes in larger classes, at conferences, and the like. I actually plan to show you some of my other note-taking templates in future videos, so stay tuned. If you enjoyed this video, please consider giving it a like so that others will know that it's a video that they might find helpful as well. Remember to subscribe and click the notification bell buttons if you'd like to receive future updates from this channel. Thanks so much for tuning in. Until next time, have a beautiful and productive week. Bye, friends.